Hey folks, some really sunny and warm weather today in Zadar, Croatia. My hobby has been throughout the years, ever since the uh, September the 11th, that's when it started, that's when I began to follow frequently or less frequently the uh, American politics. And I remember back then Obama running against late John McCain and then Romney against Obama and then everything after that and uh, yeah I may say I'm quite versed is that the right word versed into the American politics and uh, it's been a hobby yeah and what I've noticed the situation is kind of a progressively getting worse and worse in the Western democracies. There is so much more polarization, you know, charged political environment, left versus right, liberals versus conservatives. And you know, guys, I grew up in Tito's socialist Yugoslavia and also my wife is uh, Chinese and I traveled to China as you probably know China is a one-party state there's a CCP Chinese Communist Party and uh, there's no election and uh, I grew up in a uh, similar political environment uh, there was a KPU, as we used to say it, Communist Party of Yugoslavia. I remember people back then didn't pay too much attention to politics. There was a, you know, everyday news people would watch and um, but nobody really was... Uh, obsessed with it it was like a just a regular news on TV people were like focused on their everyday lives their work family and stuff and politics was I don't know on the back seat I guess to make myself clear I'm not trying here to justify or vindicate the existence of such a, as we call it, authoritarian dictatorships and whatnot, when it comes to those matters. I guess what I'm trying to say is that back then, in that time when I was a kid in Yugoslavia, or today, nowadays in China, people who live there had not been bombarded each day by politics. And that was a good thing, you know? Because, I don't know, all this uh, vitriol and so much negativity and anger today we witness in the uh, Western uh, democracies and um, 
how good versus how bad that is. Hmm. I don't know. Your thoughts? Additionally, what I want to say is when the things are not good in the economy, such an environment is more suitable for civil war to occur. You know, because it builds the opposites and amplifies them. And then uh, at some point it might explode. Such charged political atmosphere where the opposite sides view each other as enemies literally I don't know that's a sort of a, a fertile ground for civil war anyways folks uh, enjoy your day enjoy your uh, early autumn that is the uh, the extension of summer at least here in Zadar Croatia such a lovely day hmm Sorry. It's okay.